welcome to part two of the exhaust build. It's uh, winter in the UK right now and if there's anybody watching in Alaska it is 10 degrees Celsius. Brrr. But you must soldier on. So to facilitate cutting up some material, I bought a bandsaw. Um, what an old booty it is. Made by Midsaw. They don't make them like this anymore. Uh, I bought a uh, 415 volt inverter, um, but I bought it from China and it's gonna take a few weeks to get here. So I came up with a better solution. The manifold is now made. Reasonably happy with that. Next job is to put the flexible coupling onto that section there. I need 446 mil from the end of that one to the flange. So I need to make sure that stays right. I can move the exhaust forward and backwards to accommodate the correct length. Um, I'm quite happy with uh, it coming forward actually because the CG is a little bit towards the tail, well it certainly will be once I've got the radiator and all that stuff on the back. So anything that comes forward is, um, is ideal. The female part of the exhaust flange is now made and welded on. The only way I could think of keeping this tuned length in the right place was to cut some wire to the right length and tape it to the exhaust as, as I went along. Maybe there's a more accurate way but I couldn't think of one. But, nearly done. I'm quite curious to see how I did. So let's have a way up. The old exhaust, all steel. If I can balance that on there. What did that say? Uh, Two, six, three, one. Okay. I'll get all this stuff on there now. Three one five nine point eight. Okay, it's not lighter, but there's a lot more of it. I'm a that'll be okay.
In case you're wondering, yes, it's extremely loud. Uh, gonna have to make some mufflers now. Uh, I kind of knew that. I was hoping it'd be a bit quieter, but uh, no, it was deafening. So uh, onward and upward.